All right, so it's over. So again, getting back to the ASICS skate program. Uh, definitely skated these into the ground a lot longer than I should have. But these are the regular Japan Pro S from ASICS non-skate. And uh, I was lucky enough to be blessed with two pairs of samples from the skate line. I just want to see, go in everything, see what's different about them, you know, up close. I know Mitch did a pretty quick run through of them and then his camera overheated. So. Well, if taking a half hour to film a back when eight nose grind isn't enough of a kick in the ass, I realized that my phone overheated and didn't film the last probably three quarters of the session. So I've only got the basics. So I guess I'll get a little more thorough in this one. But yeah, so we'll keep the older ones here. Again, they these were awesome. I really loved them. I wouldn't even, you know, have skated them this long. Anybody who knows me knows I wouldn't have skated a shoe this long or looking like this. Um, they were really sick. I do think they started affecting my skating being blown out like this at the end. Or at least mentally, that's what I would think. But, uh, you know, as you can see, for over a month, these really held up well. And the best part is the soles are still the same. And they're super soft. It's really cool. Like, they grip, they last. But, so I guess first we'll get into the skate version. So these are the Japan Pro. Okay, and uh, everything's size nine. So here we go. Just like Mitch, we're like twins. Got the Japan Pro from A6 Skateboarding. And we can see right there, holding them back to back. You have the thinner tongue, the thicker tongue. Um, so already amazing, because one of the first things I said to Rob at uh, A6, I was like, man, these are sick. I wish the tongues were thicker. And I think that was it. That was about all I said. And, uh, uh, and the stitching, right? So Rob was like, you know, I got you. No problem. When the skate ones come out, they're going to have a thicker tongue. And they have elastic in them. Super sick. Something else I just saw really cool inside too. But And then we got our triple stitching on the toe. So... I'm probably, just because of the other ones, I'm probably going to super glue right over here because I want these to last as long as possible. Um, but super sick. Hyped to skate an all suede shoe, too. But this is really cool. They feel pretty sturdy here, too. Um, and the soles feel exactly the same. Padded tongue again. We got that. And also, what I noticed that was really cool, it's kind of glued in, but the insole, so those aren't, like, silkscreen dots. That's actually... I guess you can see the padding on the insole, um, super sick. Where these have a more standard, very thin insole, I can feel even though they've been worn, I can feel this is more padded. Um, again, they're skated, but I believe, let's see, let's see how the heels come up. It's basically about the same shape. Um, it pretty much feels the same. These feel a little sturdier. Um, the skate ones feel a little stiffer in the heel. Definitely stiffer in the heel. So that's another plus. Um, and then the insole again. Which, not that I had an issue with this, but one of my reasons I've been going cup soles. Uh, just to, you know, alleviate any back pain, knee issues, you know, old man stuff. So I think even more, I didn't have any issues with these. But that this is uh, going to be a game changer. And the tongue that's padded, so I can pretend I'm Stevie Williams and uh, jack my tongues out. Alright, so let's see if there's anything else in here cool. Open up the second one. And you get spare laces, I don't know. Again, these are samples. The real ones, you know, when they come out will have spare laces. That I don't know, but these do. Awesome. So cool. Exact same. I get that too. See, I was kind of spoiled. Well, Mitch had the other ones. But, you know, just to look at, like he showed, 
it's the same soul. For the most part, that is the same exact soul, which is great. And I'm so happy they kept it because the soul, perfect. All right. So now, hold on. So we got those out of the way. That was the uh, Japan Pro again. Men's, right? So then we're going to get into the Gel Vica Pro. So these are cool. These are the open these up. And this is what I would call the Gino Iannucci. So, things I noticed off the rip with these, the sole looks a lot thinner. Um, see them when they're next to each other. So this one, possibility look even in the heel. Yeah, so this one's gonna seem like it has more board feel. Uh, one thing I love about this one, there's no stitches on the toe, so there's nothing to rip. Where these, you know, it was, it was protection, and these actually still held up pretty decent, but like how this ripped off, there's nothing here for that to happen. So I guess it's blowing through, you know, the uh, suede. You know, it depends how you look at it, but there's no stitches to rip, which I always like. I'm a huge fan of uh, not blowing out shoes like that. So that's pretty cool. I guess if you ollie heavy or whatever, you'll probably get an ollie hold, but it's badass to use some shoe goo. All right, so they have the same padded uh, insole. The tongues have straps. I did notice with this model in particular, it is a much thinner tongue. Um, again, I don't know, just my guess, don't hold me to it, but I've seen Gino Iannucci wear these in a bunch of clips. And I could see him wanting a thinner shoe, so I don't know if his take was that this is a shoe he wanted to wear and has a thinner tongue. Again, don't hold me to that, but I could see it, but still really cool, and I love that they have this, the elastic straps in there so it keeps your foot nice and snug. Really cool. Um, and the, again, same sole bottom, but it's definitely much thinner, especially in the, the front. So again, probably more board feel, closer to like a, it almost looks like, I guess I'd call it like the Reebok workouts, workout plus whatever. Um, whatever the old Reeboks Gino used to always wear. tell a story about that but I remember going to this Long Island skate park and we found a pair of like Reebok you know the workout pluses or whatever and Gino always wore them and it was like oh my god those are Gino shoes and I think one of my friends actually took them and they were like destroyed but it was you know Gino shoes so one of the cool things living on Long Island but let's see what else we got anything else here we go here's the second one again extra laces sick so you got an option, navy or white. Laces are a little different in this one, different style, um, as opposed to these, which are your more traditional lace. Um, so, I don't know, it is what it is. Again, I haven't seen the final production ones, so that could all change. Anything, I guess, could change if these are samples. Um, won't know for another month, but super sick. And I think that they're... Again, those skated so well, I can't see these not skating well. So I'm going to try and skate these. I don't know if it's happening today. It seems like it's going to rain out. But I'm going to skate these, give a little feedback on them, you know, and then wrap up the video. All right, so... The Gel Vica Pro, this is after two hours of skating. Not a lot, I mean, you can see there's, if I scuff it back up, and you really can't see too much. Um, they skated pretty well. Uh, it's a thin shoe, 
So I guess it's a little, I don't know, a little thinner than I'd like personally, but they're not bad. They're definitely good if these were there. I'd rather these than a lot of other shoes. The soles are super good. Definitely was pretty cool to have a shoe with a thinner sole for board feel. Um, positives, not even any lace rippage, which is really cool um, on either side. So that's a plus because sucks when you skate a shoe and the laces rip, rip on the first day. That's always a negative. Um, yeah, but they were super good. Um, back feels good. Feet feel good. So the insoles were great. I know they skated really well. So that's, you know, two hours. Um, my phone, when I was trying to film in these, battery kind of died. So there was some stuff I didn't uh, get. But I guess the positive is I'll go back out and skate these. And then we'll see how these hold up and, you know, how they skate. I know I'm going to like these already, though. But we'll test them out. Yesterday I got to skate these for about, I'm going say an hour and a half. Definitely minimal signs of wear. Very minimal, which is awesome. I think these actually showed less wear than the uh, Gel Vica did. But I did more kickflips with these um, and some nollie flips. And these I wasn't really doing any kickflips, but did some more nollie flips. There's minimal wear super hype they skated really well it's funny too i'm gonna say going in i really thought i was gonna like this shoe more but i do think i actually like the way the Jill Vicka skated better it was awesome to have the thinner sole and board feel that i haven't felt in a while in shoes from wearing dunks and tiagos and i wasn't sure about the the toe shape either but it, they worked out fine they were really comfortable really snug so I'm um, super hyped for when these come out. I'll definitely be running these. Uh, looking forward to even, you know, just when these shops get them to buy them. I think the release is not going to be in every shop, to my knowledge anyway. I'm sure that can all change. But there's plenty of shops I know that uh, are going to be getting these, and I'm super excited. I'm, I'm going to see how long... <laughs> you haven't seen the last of me. I'm going to skate these and then see how long I get. Because, again, the other ones I had, the non-skate ones... I went over a month and they were like destroyed. So I'm going to see how these hold up over a month as opposed to those. And then, you know, check back in too, just to see. And I believe I screwed up before because I, I said they had the same sole, uh, the Gel Vica and the Japan Pro, and they do not. Same materials, but it is a different tread pattern. Also, something really cool is they're not like pebble magnets where the treads are wide enough in here that it doesn't just collect all the rocks and pebbles and everything that's it a6 skateboarding japan pro gel vica pro um thumbs up totally if you somebody who likes cup soles amazing if you're a dunk skater then i'd say these are like right on par and kind of gonna say a lot cooler it's kind of cool to have a change and know that there's good people behind the program ASIC seems to have a real good thing that they're going to do, and uh, I'm excited to see what they come out with. I believe they come out in July, uh, middle of July. They should be available in shops. Um, true to size also, shoe review should do that. Um, both of them felt true to size. I'm a nine. I wear nine in dunks, and both of them true to size, size nine, and that's without having to, like, choke the laces or anything, so... Again, super hyped. Best soles in skateboarding. That I can 200% say in confidence. This, the grip on these soles is like nothing else. It's really good. Super soft. They don't blow out super fast. Those other ones I had for a month, I can't even tell that I skated them. On the soles. The uppers are pretty crazy. But yeah. Oh gosh. So... There we go. Again, <laughs> I'm finally going to end this now to wrap it up. But uh, ASIC Skateboarding, Japan Pro, ASIC Skateboarding, Gel Vicka. Thumbs up, approved. 
super excited and hyped to see what they come out with next. So anybody DMing me every time I have these on in something or post them up, uh, just going to send them here because this is the whole breakdown of the shoes. Thanks.